Howdy and welcome back. Okay, so I've gotten a few questions about understanding the overall workflow of Treeline. So I made the screencast to show you how I would approach a project. So there's three main components of Treeline. There's the Treeline IO site. This is where you actually create the API, the request, the machines within the circuit, models, things like that. You've got your local sales project, and then the glue that ties these together is the command line interface. Now, the first question that comes is, what should I create first? You know, the local sales project or the tree line, you know, API? And really, there's no good answer here. You can do either one. I'm going to start at the command line. So I'll create a new project here, tree line new, I'll call it workflow, and I'll change in to workflow. And let's take a look at the project in the Atom text editor. So if you're familiar with sales, you'll recognize this as a pretty typical, actually a very typical uh, first folder and file directory structure for a sales app. Now the irony here is that uh, we're never going to have to go in and look at this code. Uh, again, that's what we have Treeline for. I wanted to show you in this screencast the actual mechanics of building something in Treeline and then kind of watching uh, the compiled code get synced um, with the local project. Next, let's go into Treeline and I'm going to create a new app. I'm going to call it Workflow. You don't have to name your apps, of course, the same, uh, your local apps versus uh, Treeline apps. I'm going to do that for really simplicity here. And by default, we have one route here. And if we go into the circuit, this is actually displaying our default home page. If we go back to Atom, you can see that we still don't have any controllers or models. And we're going to change that because we're going to go into our workflow app here. And we have a couple of choices in how to connect this local project to Treeline IO. I could type Treeline link and this will bring up all the projects I have on Treeline IO that I might want to link to this local project. But actually I'm going to cancel out of that and type Treeline preview which not only links the project but also lifts the uh, sales project as well. And here we go. The main change you see is that we now have a home controller. And that home controller was actually generated from our route here. And we can see that this is going to load our default home page. And we can actually see what that looks like by navigating. I'm going to open up a new tab here and we can navigate to localhost 1337. And we actually get that home page. So let's look at these side by side. I'm going to go back into Treeline and we're going to create a new route. And I'm going to call that route uh, slash Google. Okay, so now on the left hand side, we can see that we now have uh, this Google controller. And it's going to respond with a status code 200 if we hit slash Google. But let's change that. And let's change that to redirect and keep looking on this left hand side here. Um, I'm going to put in Google here. And so you can see Treeline is compiling our code on this side into sales code on this side and syncing it in real time. And I can go and hit this route now. and it's going to redirect me to Google. So that's the Treeline workflow. Thanks as always for watching.